Hello, hello. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with Instagram. There we go. We have a connection. Um, happy Wednesday, you guys. It's hump day. We've made it halfway through the week. So, hello, my name is Jen. I am coming to you from the rainy northwest corner of Connecticut. Um, and I am a chronic illness warrior, aka Spoonie, and my goal in life is to pretty much help other Spoonies, chronic illness warriors, any way I can. Um, I like to help anybody. It doesn't just have to be a Spoonie. But those are my favorite people because those are my people, right? So as you guys hop on, say hello. If you're catching me on the replay on either Facebook or Instagram, go ahead and type hashtag grateful because I'm just as grateful for my replay viewers as I am for my live viewers. Um, but I'm going to keep this super quick, but I had like two realizations today and they both have to do with the same thing. Okay. So if you've been following me for more than three months, type OG in the comments. If you have been following me for less than three months, type new in the comments. And if you are on TikTok, go ahead, double tap the screen, follow me, and I will follow you when I get back off of here or first thing in the morning. Okay. Um, so, and thank you for all the hearts. New. Hello. And if your name is not in your user handle, go ahead and drop that in the comments too. Thank you. I just got out of the shower, so I look a little hot mess. Naomi. Okay. So, I have been in the network marketing, social selling community on and off for about 15 years, but very, very steadily for the last like six or seven years, okay? Um, however, I have been with my current company late November, early December will be two years. And in these past two years, I have had so much growth in myself, um, not just my business, and there's reasons why. And it's because, well, let's just, I'm just going to start from the beginning, okay? So our company actually had a three-day event going on. I could not participate on Monday, um, but I played as we like to say, playing full out Tuesday and today, okay? As much as I could, I had some doctor's appointments virtual on there and stuff, um, and I was attending virtually. Now, in the past, I would attend things virtually, but I would not really be paying 100% attention, okay? Because it's hard when you're home. If if anybody else feels me on this, maybe like when you're on the phone or if you're scrolling or you're doing something and it's all virtual, you kind of get sidetracked and maybe you're, I don't know, like reading like a piece of mail on the counter. Maybe you're trying to do the dishes and or tend to kids or tend to spouses, right? Spouses need tending to sometimes too. Um, and I was really playing full out and very present the time I spent in this event. Okay. And you guys, I have never taken so many notes. Let's, let's just see how many notes I have taken. And this was just two days. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Plus, I have like a workbook here I did too. Okay, and I'm throwing, dropping things on the floor, but that's okay. Um, and I took away so much more from this event than any other event in the past. And it's because 
this event wasn't about selling. Okay. A lot of people hear like social selling or network marketing or direct sales, and they think it's all about selling. And a lot of the businesses I have been with in the past, that's all it was. Okay. But here they really want you to build yourself before you build your business. Okay. Is the best way to put it. Um, we say that we're a team only because it's more like family than a team. It's kind of like our chosen family, right? And I did all the things that they said to do in every single, okay, out of seven tasks, I have already seen results out of six of them. So that says something. That says something. And, you know, when my husband came home, I was all excited. I said, this is what I did today. And this is, you know, and I was like, in the past, I would have just gone through the actions, whether it was an event or just my daily tasks. I would have been so distracted. I would have been, or I would have gone so hard that I would have, like, just tired myself out, okay? Um, if you guys know what a spoonie is, go ahead and drop a one in the comments. If you do not know what a spoonie is, go ahead and drop a two in the comments. Um, and I, then I would shut down. I would start to self-sabotage as we like to call it. Okay. Or a prime example is I had a reel the other day that has like 80, close to 85,000 views on it. And I try to reach out to everyone that likes most of my stuff or like I try, don't always get to everybody, but I do my best, right? And in the past, I would have just, that would have put me into like self-sabotage, panic mode, like what am I supposed to be doing now? Um, it's too much. And instead, I said, I'm going to use this as an opportunity. I am going to use this as an opportunity. So what a Spoonie is, is it's someone with chronic illnesses. And it's, when we say spoons, it's a unit of measurement of energy, okay? And normal people can either take a nap to replenish their spoons or maybe have caffeine or whatever the case may be. But for us Spoonies, that stuff does not work. Okay, the amount of energy we have is the amount of energy we have. And some days we wake up with 19 spoons, some days we wake up with 8 spoons, some days we'll wake up with 27 spoons, okay? But the little things like showering and actually washing my hair take a lot of spoons out of me. But I also said to my husband, the time I'm spending with him is way more intentional. Okay, I'm not going to even respond to that comment. Um, but the time I'm spending with him is way more intentional, and it's been much more quality time. Do I still work when we're together? Yes, because that is my job, okay? But I don't put as much into my work when we have set time. And normally evenings from 6 between 6 and 7 to 8.30 is our time. That's when we have dinner. That's when we watch a show together. And then we go to bed. Okay? Um, and I also said the time I'm spending on my work is much more intentional time. Much, much more intentional time. Okay? Um, I am tracking you know, people I'm talking to daily. I don't want to show you guys this because it's like everybody's names, but lots of papers in here. Um, I have it broken up to like what platform I spoke to who on, and I am seeing so many more results. So what I want you guys to take away from this is if it's something important to you and it's something that you are trying to really build, whether it be your self-growth, whether it be your relationship, whether it be your relationship with your children, whether it be a business, whether it be, don't try to multitask around that stuff. And I know sometimes, especially as parents, 
we have to do that. I totally understand like your kid needs help with a home with homework and dishes need to be done. But sometimes if you take those tasks and split them into two, you actually end up saving a lot of time. So I want you guys, I'm going to kind of give you guys an assignment if that's okay with you guys. Um, keep track of what you're doing and try to really concentrate on one task at a time and see how much more you get out of it. Because I'm telling you, when you do it, and I was always a huge preacher of multitasking, 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 multitasking. It doesn't work for everything, guys. It just doesn't. Um, as much as, you know, I will still listen to my podcast while making the bed and doing the dishes. But then you better believe I hit that bookmark button if it's something I want to go back and take notes on. But for the most part, I try to sit and take my notes and do whatever. It's I listen to literally like eight-minute podcasts. Why can I not sit for eight minutes and listen to it? I can. I just have to learn that that takes priority over me watching TV for a half hour. And then in that extra 22 minutes that I still have left over, I can get way more done around the house with my business, whatever the case may be. Sometimes it's even with my medical stuff. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please go ahead and share this out and comment the word shared over on the Facebook Live, and I will enter you into my giveaway. Um, and I hope everybody has an amazing, amazing night, and I will talk to you all later.